Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. I, obviously, am Chris Ignato, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Earth Skills Handbook. So what I want to do is, I got to find an acorn. It's going to be a little tricky at this time of year, as you can see there's snow around, and also, the squirrels, they like to harvest all the acorns they can, you know, for the winter. But I want to find one and show you something that I've been doing for like 15 years with them, and people seem to get a kick out of it. Um, you can use it as a whistle. Some of you might already know this. So, uh, let's see what I can find, okay guys? Okay, it's really impossible to film without any airplanes, so just bear with me on this. This is from a, a sycamore tree, or a London Plains. I'll show you what's neat about this in a minute. But here's some acorns I found, okay? The caps have popped off them. That's not the cap that belongs on it, but that's what the acorns look like normally, right? You pop the cap off, and there's a cool thing you can do with it, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, check it out. Here's one of the caps from the acorn, okay? And what you do is you hold it, you place your hands together like so, right? And then you form a little V. See that V between my thumbnails? Okay? That goes, you put that right there, okay? This is the acorn cap. So you form a V or an, a capital A or something like that with the space. Then you press your bottom lip to your knuckles. Now the common distress signal is usually three long whistles. Or with a horn or an air horn or anything like that. Three long ones. Or sets of three. One, two, three. Wait about three seconds or two seconds. Do it again. It's generally international, but everyone's kind of got their own variation on the same thing. Same with rifle shots. Mouse, come here. Mouse. Come hey guys. Shh. See how it works? Now isn't that cool? See how loud that is? Now that is awesome, okay? I'm not even blowing it super loud because those people over there are probably getting annoyed with me. <laughs> but um, that's an acorn whistle. Sometimes you can't shout for help. You know, you're, you got a sore throat, you're dehydrated, you're running out of water, you get that sore throat, your voice isn't quite so loud. Anyways, whistles are often easier and when it's in groups of three, people can often tell that that's not a natural occurrence. There are some birds that do that though. Let me go get my dog. Here's another one I just found. And check this out. See how the cap just comes off? The little hat? Now, again, as I've been saying, I'll make a video on acorns at some point because these are extremely nutritious. What an amazing bounty. And people love them. And when you process them, make them ready to eat, they are so good. And I'm not the only one that feels that way. Hey, Mouse. Hold on, Mouse. Hold on. I'm trying to film the acorn thing. Hey. Okay, see if I can get this working. Yes, no matter where you are, you hear sirens and stuff and airplanes all the time. Doesn't matter where I am. I'm doing a bad job, but, you know, I could do better. But you get the point. Acorn caps. It's a fun whistle. It's fun to do with the kids, especially when you have like 10 or 12 of them in a group, and they all start blowing this for the next two hours. Have fun with that, guys. That's a blast. But I don't mind so much. I think it's kind of cool. So, you might notice I am wearing different clothing, and I'm in a different habitat. The reason for that being is the fact that my video looked like it was being a little bit too long. So instead of keeping the sycamore tinder and acorn and possibly rose hips all in one video, I'm going to break it up into two videos because it was just being a little bit too long. So thank you for watching my acorn video. And if you click here, I guess, I'll have uh, the link to the sycamore tinder and rose hip video. Okay? So thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the next video, guys. Chris Ignato, signing out.